is Washington, D.C. Somewhere in this city is the central office of an organization known simply as Control. Its exact location is top secret. Its business is counter espionage. Very careful. And somewhere on the campus of an important university near Washington, a scientist is about to test a tiny scale model of a new instrument known as the Enthermo, an instrument so powerful it may alter the present structure of world power. Such a device, of course, will be a prime target for chaos, the International Organization of Evil. What about the target? Target? For Professor Dante's test. Oh, sure. Happily okay. for the free world, the evil forces of chaos are countered by control. Right at this moment, the bright torch of liberty is shielded by one of Control's top employees, a man who lives a life of danger and intrigue, a man carefully trained in every art of a secret agent. This man has expert professional knowledge of every deadly weapon. He's adept at karate and jiu-jitsu. He speaks many languages. Above all, he's a master of disguise, able to assume a protective coloration for whatever terrain he encounters. In other words, he can melt into any background, go unnoticed as a part of any group. You've got to be kidding. Who are you? Maxwell Smart, a fellow student here to assist Professor Dante in his test. Excuse me. He's using a tough target for the experiment. They're blowing the card and steel. Where is Professor Dante? I am Prof. Prof? Where's Professor Zuliga? She's to assist. And she stopped to make a phone call. A phone call? Professor Zuliga is absolutely dedicated to the success of the Endermo. I see. All of you, over here. The targets are like armored plates. Except that won't the Endermo injure the building. No, no. Just the targets. Perhaps you should explain. But simply. This tiny scale model is about to demonstrate how the basic principle of reactive thermal concentricity holds true. Actually, the dynamics of the catalytic phenomenon is expressed in direct ratio to its initial molecular conclusion. Right. Even more simply. <laughs> you try, Professor Zuliga. If Farmer Brown takes five molecules to market, then Farmer Green... All right, let's get on with the experiment. <laughs> Make a minor adjustment. Keep back at a line. All of you. Ready? Or today's code number. 
My life may depend on it. Get in here, Max, or I'll personally tear you apart. It's good for me. No, not for me, Chief. All right, I'm on my way. You knew I was here, 86, but you did stop them from going on with the test? Stop them? Perhaps Professor Dante aimed the thermo just a little too well? We're all expendable. At least most of us are. Actually, I'm not having too much fun on this job. No comparing notes for Professor Zelenka. No sports at all. No student activities. Steady, man. I don't even get to wear a trench coat. Listen to what I have to tell you. A spike can only take so much sneaking around these corridors, sleeping on a zinc table in the lab with only a Bunsen burner to warm you. Hiding! Always hiding! I want to come in for the cold, A6! Well, hold of yourself, man! Here, look! <laughs> you won't tell them about this back at headquarters, will you? Of course not. I know what you're going through. They wouldn't like it. Sometimes it's just good to have a nice cry. Try telling that to Chief. He hates to see his men cry. Chief! Listen, I gotta call in the headquarters. You're gonna have to stay here. Another nylon zinc table in the lab. Oh, guard the endermo with your life. Oh, I slipped a note in the pocket of your trench coat. Secret information? Actually, it's a requisition for a row of mattress. 